An interesting question that's been brought to my attention is why weren't there any carnivorous dinosaurs that were quadrupedal? G'day ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host bringing you another video focused on why all carnivorous dinosaurs were bipeds. I mean, I want you all to think about it. Throughout their entire history, carnivorous dinosaurs were all bipedal. I'll give you a moment. Actually, I'll do you one better. I'll give you two moments to think of a carnivorous dinosaur. Thought of it? Alright, you may have thought of the T-Rex, possibly the Velociraptor, maybe even the Ceratosaurus if you're feeling especially spicy. But, do you see any similarities between them? Yeah, that's right. They all walked on two legs. And that's what I find interesting. It's practically the total opposite of the modern day. Sure, there are humans, birds, some marsupials, but when you look at what predators rule most ecosystems, it includes cats, dogs, bears, lizards, crocodiles, etc. Now yes, with this example, I'm looking at different classes entirely, but I'm presenting it in a format of ruling an ecosystem. Dinosaurs ruled the planet, and the carnivores found success in solely being bipedal. Now I already know what some of you are thinking, would Spinosaurus count as a quadruped? And well, unless you're considering the 2014 Spino accurate, then no. At best, you can equate the Spinosaurus to like a bear, being able to move on both its two legs as well as on all fours, but everything with Spinos is a leap, it's pretty much an enigma of the dino world. However, as for the rest, we can confidently say that they were bipedal. Now for us to gain an idea of why this is, we need to take a look at the fossil records. We need to look all the way back to the Triassic period. Some of the earliest known true dinos include Herasosaurus, Nyasosaurus, and Pisanosaurus, which all lived over 200 million years ago. If you notice something similar about all these dinos, it would be, well, they are all bipeds. This gives us a bit of an answer as to why so many dinosaurs were bipedal, as true dinosaurs would have started off as bipedal. And the general body plan being a long tail, heavy hindquarters, relatively short front limbs, has always naturally lent itself to bipedality. We can assume that a combination of factors lent to bipedalism being preferred. The efficiency of movement offered by walking or running on two hind limbs could have provided a dinosaur with an advantage in covering ground quickly. The adaption would also be crucial for both hunting and invading predators. Additionally, bipedalism allowed for some dinosaurs to develop to well-adapted forelimbs for the task of grasping, manipulating objects, or capturing prey, enhancing their versatility. Although, it's it's not like every dinosaur walked on two legs, as when dinosaurs came to power, they evolved filling up many niches, and as we see with many of the herbivores, they adapted to moving on all fours. For example, sauropods, stegosaurids, ceratopsians, and more were quadrupeds. So it's clear that herbivores diversified being both bipedal and quadrupedal, yet the carnivores stuck to the same thing. Well, according to paleontologist W. Scott Pearsons and Philip J. Curry, they argue that dinosaurs' bipedalism evolved for the improved running Ability, also known as cursorality. Bipedalism coupled with a cordofemoralis musculature provided a propulsion advantage to hind limbs and forelimbs. This cursorial advantage explains the prevalence of bipedalism amongst diapsids and the scarcity of it among mammals. Now having these greater speeds would definitely be beneficial for predators when hunting all sorts of prey, although it can also be attributed to the fact that the environmental pressures just didn't push carnivores to become quadrupeds, being bipedal was just simply more beneficial. I mean when you think about it, look at all the heavier herbivores, from Triceratops to Ankylosaurus and especially Argentinosaurus. Their legs have become column shaped, almost like a trunk. This is in order to support their weight, yet it comes with the trade-off of making them slower and less agile, as at a certain weight, there are restraints on how fast something can move. We can see other herbivores which didn't take this trade-off, such as the hadrosaurs, which could run bipedally, making them though large, agile and quick on their feet. So hence for predators, being bipedal provided them an advantage in both the speed and agility category, which is very, and I mean very important, for hunting dangerous prey. If they did evolve to be quadrupeds and were reaching the sizes of Tyrannosaurus, then they would lose a good portion of agility and speed. This would make capturing prey so much more difficult. I mean, it's not like looking at lions and bears and whatnot of today. They wouldn't have been reaching those speeds. Even then, bears, lions and all that, they don't live in ecosystems where their prey could have reached so many times more larger than they are. Another issue for them would be, even if we use this quadrupedal structure to say, hey, they could grow larger than bipedal carnivores, well, they're still not going to be large enough to take down the herbivores which far exceed their own weight. You think just because they're quadrupedal, they're going to evolve to maybe the size of Argentinosaurus? There's no way a carnivore as big as Argentinosaurus would be able to eat enough to sustain itself. 
Sure, they may have been large, but they would have still been too slow to even attempt to hunt such big prey. Plus, the lacking speed and agility would make it near impossible to dodge a herbivore's attack. I've also seen people argue that being bipedal was for the purpose of freeing up their front limbs, which as I said before, many dinosaurs took the advantage of being bipedal to evolve greater limb use, such as with Therizinosaurus. However, it was only beneficial to some theropods, not for all. I think the best case in point of this actually isn't Tyrannosaurus rex, as many people believe. Shocking, I know, but rather Carnotaurus. I mean, man, you would really have to scrape by for an excuse of what these arms were used for. They were absolutely tiny, which pretty much shows that just because your front limbs are spared doesn't necessarily mean that they were overly useful. I mean, we see often with theropods which hunt large terrestrial prey, the larger they became, the less useful their front limbs were and hence the smaller they became. So yeah, it just seems to me like bipedalism was far more favoured for carnivorous dinosaurs in their set ecosystems. So all in all, the basic lineage may have gone like this. 1. Dinosaurs originated from small omnivorous archosaurs in the mid to late Triassic and during this period, the niches for large herbivores and carnivores were already occupied globally. 2. At the end of the Triassic, geological events created opportunities for dinosaur families to diversify as large ecosystem niches opened up. 3. The abundance and accessibility of plant matter favoured the evolution of large sizes in dedicated herbivores to exploit the newly available ecosystem niches. 4. The trend towards large sizes in herbivores such as sauropods and stegosaurs led to the development of quadrupedalism to support their bulk. Some ornithopods however remained bipedal or exhibited a mix of bipedal and quadrupedal stances. 5. To effectively prey on these large herbivores, carnivores needed to be fast and more agile, and hence selective pressures favoured the evolution of bipedalism in certain carnivore lineages, pushing them to be bipedal as a whole. Now look, I know it's a very rough and simple draft, but hey, it's a brief summary. There is also the other explanation that since fossils aren't a common find, then maybe, just maybe, we haven't found them yet. Now, though this is a possibility, I'd find it strange that we've discovered dinosaurs from the beginning till their demise in the Cretaceous period, yet we haven't found one four-legged carnivorous dinosaur. So I don't necessarily think it's about us not well finding it yet, but hey, watch this bite me later on and turns out, hey, we found one in the future. I mean, yeah, the only other thing I've seen people bet on would have to be Spinosaurus, but uh, that'd be weird enough as it is. Being a quadruped would only make the carnivore even more strange. So only time will tell with that. In a nutshell, being bipedal gave dinosaurs the ultimate edge in the race for survival. I don't know, nature is always weird one way or the other, but that's what makes it so interesting. Anyways, we've reached the end of the video. I hope you'll enjoyed. As always, don't forget to subscribe to both this and my secondary channel. Also, like and comment below what you'd like to see next. I'll catch you all in the next video. See ya.